My lovely, lovely imps. I have a bone to pick with Keffels. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Keffels. You know. Keffels, funny fish, you know. Uh, wigglers, you know. I have a bone to pick with Keffels. Okay? A few months ago, I began work on an incredible and secret project. The likes of which this side of the internet has never, ever seen, okay? In my humble Seattle backyard, I created a questionably legal sanctuary for what the local rubes might call fairy tale creatures, okay? And in this garden, I was able to cultivate a growing community of gnomes, nymphs, pixies, wisps, dryads, treants, brownies, elves, deer tours, devas, kodama, leshies, reshies, creshies, all kinds of peaceful fey beings could thrive here. That is, until Keffels attacked. Allied with an army of brutally corporate Keeblers, and lecherous leprechauns. Keffels used the cover of wellness, of needing time off to get better, of needing a mental health break, to destroy my garden, to trod on the caps of my mushrooms, to scatter my lovely creatures to the wind. My garden was once replete with playful tricksters, and now it is a wasteland full of banshees, goblins, red caps, and worse than anything else, commodified cookie production. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my life has been utterly and completely ruined. What's arguably even worse than any of this is the fact that in a... a, a in, in cooperation with Keffels, the leprechauns put a curse on me that has completely prevented me uh, from being able to show any evidence of this because of the curse. The curse that was placed on me means that I am forced to say no if anybody asks for any evidence of Keffel's attack. So I can't even prove to the world that this attack actually happened. Oh, but it did. Oh, but it did. My shoes have been unrepaired. My soil has remained untilled. My abandoned and forgotten tools are no longer enchanted with the loving presence of a spirit. My mushrooms remain unsat upon. And instead, there's this ungodly shrieking coming from the backyard at all times. And it's because of Keffel's and her dark alliance. You know, I've had it up to here. I've had it up to here with people standing Keffels. People going around and being like, wow, Keffels, oh, Keffels, she's funny. And, and she posts memes. I can't wait for Keffels. Well, now she's back. And now she's going to get away with it again. She's going to get somebody. She's going to drive out someone else's gnomes. I was just standing between you and Keffels. Was the shrieking pleasant or unpleasant? Unpleasant. Just definitively unpleasant. Don't ask me for evidence, because it will make the curse act up. I don't want to flare up, okay? It's some, it's some heinous dark magic that those leprechauns put on me, okay? I can't even find... Uh, they took all the pots of gold, okay? They took all me lucky charms while they were at it. So don't ask. Don't ask, or I'll yell at you. Disgusting. Now, of course, there is something you can do. 
which is of course that you can like and subscribe and comment to transfer spiritual energy to me so that I can rebuild after the terrible, terrible Keffel's attack on my fairy tale creature sanctuary. You can press like and leave a comment saying, I hope your fairy tale creatures are okay. Um, and you could also send me your lucky charms in the mail um, or donate so that I can purchase more. Um, but if you're wondering, now that you've liked, subscribed, and commented on the video, if you're wondering why I'm coming forward with this information now, it is, of course, because Keffels has indeed returned. Keffels was, uh, was out uh, taking care of her health, um, and uh, immediately upon Keffels' returns, uh, Keffel's return, a ton of people uh, began propagating some claims about Keffel's um, that are unironically on par with the story that I just told you. I, I'm not kidding you. Um, there have been a, a series of Twitter posts claiming um, some of the most stupid and substanceless things that I've seen, which of course have gotten boosted. So I figured that if completely made up fantasies about Keffel's could be boosted to high hell, then uh, uh, then we could do the same for my completely fabric. I mean, totally real, very honest uh, tale of Keffel's destroying my fantasy creature uh, sanctuary, which I cannot provide evidence for because of the curse, which I, the aforementioned curse. Um, so, uh, people sp spreading crazy rumors about Keffels, what's new? Yeah, um, in fact, uh, despite all of the people who've been wailing and screaming and claiming that actually Keffels was not taking a mental health break, but was instead uh, uh, traveling to faraway lands to, I don't know, like build up a secret uh, harem or something. I don't even know what the, what the claims are at this point. They've spiraled out of control. Um, but uh, uh, of course, despite that, we actually have something real to talk about. Like um, I I've been, you know, all, all joking aside, uh, there's actually something uh, fairly serious that uh, I wanted to talk about and show you all that actually does have to do with Keffels and what Keffels has been up to besides taking better care um, of herself, which is a great thing. And I am extremely happy to know uh, that, uh, that Keffels is doing better and feeling better uh, and took some time to uh, talk to people, talk to professionals to improve her own life. I think that's actually awesome. Um, see, Posadas John knows. Posadas John says she has an Irish, Irish polycule now that does druid sex magic. God damn it. I know, I knew it. You can provide the evidence where I and no one else can. Have a good night, fantasy jorts. Motherfuckers are literally making isekai harem anime level stories of Keffels. It's so bad. It's just funny and stupid, okay? Like, guys, I understand certain aspects of people not, like, being gung-ho about Keffels or not being super, super, like, I, I'm gonna parasocially trust Keffels. In fact, I think that's a pretty good thing. I think it's a good thing to have a healthy level of skepticism about online figures that you don't personally know, myself included. Why do you think I take so much criticism on this channel? Um, I think it's actually relatively valuable to do so. However, what we've seen is, n is not healthy skepticism. Instead, what we've seen is a machine of, a, 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 a 
machine of people who are willing to basically boost literally any story that they hear that that appears negatively on Keffels, regardless of the uh, uh, regardless of the claims, regardless of the of the evidence at hand, regardless of the source. Um, it's ridiculous and it's stupid and most of all, perhaps it's embarrassing. Um, it's just really silly and dumb and also unhealthy. I think I already said all those. Anyway, uh, despite all of the, the pointless and made up nonsense, which mine is not, Keffels really did join up with the Keebler Elves and the Leprechaun Alliance to take out my, my sanctuary. Like, she really did. I can't provide evidence because of the curse, but you get it. However, there is something good that Keffels did, and we're gonna read about that right now, okay? So this is an article that was published two days ago uh, by a law firm in Toronto. Let's read it. Let's read it together, shall we? Let's do it. This is from, legally speaking, the law offices of Justin W. Uh, uh, Anisman, Anisman? Uh, a Toronto law firm who published a uh, an article about what Keffels has been up to in recent uh, memory. Now, some of you may remember that uh, I think it was about a, about a year ago, maybe a little bit less, Keffels raised a, a, a decent amount of money to bring a legal case against the local police department with allegations of mistreatment after a, a heinous swatting attempt, or not even attempt, a successful swatting incident against Keffels. Uh, this is kind of People who are familiar with my channel will remember this. I have some videos on it. You can search Demon Mama Keffels if you want to. You can actually just watch Keffels talk about it on her channel if you'd like to. Um, we've talked about it a couple times on here. Uh, Keffels was swatted, and it was uh, particularly invasive and also particularly careless of the uh, of the local police department where she lived. So Keffels decided to bring uh, legal action, specifically as we will see, with the goal of making sure that the police will have to wear body cams in the future. Because the police department, of course, refused, uh, said, oh, we didn't do anything wrong throughout this incident. Everybody on this channel should know that we have a very, very strong position against swatting. Uh, swatting is incredibly dangerous. Uh, SWAT teams are trained to react with incredible ferocity. Uh, they often injure people in the process. They often injure pets or kill pets. Uh, and they are de getting swatted is a deeply traumatic experience. It is a terrible and stupid thing to do to somebody. Um, plus, even if you, unlike me, uh, don't tend to already criticize uh, the institutions of policing, it's a waste of resources. It's a waste of taxpayer resources. It's a waste of the police's time. And it completely uh, uh, misdirects everyone involved in addition to putting a lot of people in danger. Uh, I tend to be of the opinion that uh, swattings are so dangerous that they should be treated as attempted murder. Because as it turns out, swatting attempts have ended in people getting killed in people getting severely and permanently injured, and in people suffering uh, uh, suffering long-term effects like PTSD that can lead to a higher risk of death. Without any further ado, let's take a look. Um, oh, Fig Fairy points out the number one cause of death on uh, of on-the-job deaths for SWAT members is accidental friendly fire. It even puts the SWAT team in danger. Let's continue. Let's read this piece, I should say. Clara Sorrenti, AKA Keffels, brings human rights application against London police. London is the town where this occurred. Clara Sorrenti, AKA Miss Sorrenti, a transgender woman, advocate and popular online streamer, K 
Keffels on Twitch has filed a human rights application against the London Police Services and the London Police Services Board, collectively the LPS. The application is based on the discrimination Miss Sorrenti experienced due to her gender identity and gender expression, which is contrary to Section 1 of the Ontario Human Rights Code, aka the Code. In August of 2022, an anonymous individual impersonating uh, Ms. Sorrenti made phone calls to the Toronto and London police services and sent a death threat to London city councillors, an event which was widely reported by in the media. NBC News, Global News, Washington Post, CTV News. Here's a bunch of different sources that detailed the story. Despite warning the LPS earlier in March of 2022 that she was at risk of being a target of squatting, a, a form of harassment where individuals call the police to an individual's home for the purpose of intimidation, harassment, and or violence, on August 5th, a team of London police officers armed with assault rifles attended Miss Sorrenti's home without warning and arrested her at gunpoint for uttering threats. Shortly thereafter, the LPS realized their error and released her from custody without charges. Ms. Sorrenti's application argues that the LPS breached the code and discrimination against her by failing to investigate, adequately investigate the death threat before deciding to arrest her at gunpoint, two, misgendering her, three, calling her by her dead name, four, treating her with disrespect and inhumanity while in custody, and five, having an antiquated and discriminatory policies and procedures which do not accommodate gender identity and expression to the point of undue hardship. In addition to the persistent misgendering by LPS, Ms. Renty also alleges that at the time of her arrest, a London police officer groped her breast and said, yep, it's a she. Ms. Sorrenti is seeking redress for the discrimination she has experienced and calls on the LPS to change their policies and procedures to better accommodate transgender persons. For further information and for media inquiries, please contact Ms. Sorrenti's legal counsel, Justin W. Anisman. So, as you can see, this is a public announcement of the case by Keffels' legal counsel. So, uh, uh, unlike the deranged haters who continually claim very strange and very stu substanceless things about Keffels, it turns out that Keffels is actually very much pursuing justice in this particularly heinous case. And I want you guys to take a moment and remember just how much shit Keffels has had to go through as a result of daring to speak out about a handful of trans issues affecting trans people in the US and Canada. The amount of harassment and uh, and uh, deranged mistreatment that Keffels has uh, has received at the hands of internet mobs, specifically a handful of communities, including uh, the uh, now uh, struggling uh, Kiwi Farms, um, uh, is is really hard to overstate. Uh, the amount of harassment is is just unbelievable, um, and it was. It, 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 it became arguably even worse as her story got out because so many times in our society, visibility is a severe double-edged sword. If your story starts getting out, well then you become a target for even more deranged and hateful people the world over. And if you don't have support, if you don't have backing, you can find yourself alone versus a lot of people who are really, really severely out to hurt you, uh, as we saw in this particular case. So, um, I just wanted to take a moment to give a, um, I wanted to give a, a bit of an update on the Keffels situation, since it's been a long time since we've talked about Keffels and Keffels's, uh, uh, and the, the whole the whole swatting, Kiwi Farms, all of that. Uh, the Drop Kiwi Farms campaign, it's been a long time since we've done an update about that, but I wanted to let you know, progress is being made. A case is being brought against them, and Keffels is, for the first time in a long time, uh, seems to be in a particularly safe place where she can 
uh, actually have some stability to fix some of these problems. You have to have real courage to defend yourself in these types of situations, says Scarlet Volcano. True, you do. You, uh, it's actually, uh, I mean, the, part of the problem with the way this type of online harassment works is that um, you are directly incentivized to do what the people hurting you want, which is usually to disappear. They want you to stop talking out. They want you to stop speaking out about what you're going about. The longer you speak out, the harder they go. And the goal is to silence you. And obviously, it succeeds in a lot of cases because most people can't deal with any of this stuff. I mean, no one truly can. No one can walk away from being swatted okay. No one. Not a single person on this planet can get swatted in their home while they're sleeping, have a gun pointed in their face, be arrested and held uh, uh, on false accusations and just walk away from that. Okay, no one, not a single person on this planet can do that. It leaves permanent scars. It's severely traumatic. And keep in mind that it wasn't just Keffels who this was done to. They also sent the cops over to completely unrelated people who happened to have the same last name as Keffels. There were also Keffels family members and roommate were present at the time of this. They got swatted too. Velvet says, so many Kiwi victims just disappeared and nothing ever changed. She stuck through it and tanked everything for the sake of doing something about it. It was brutal. Yes, and it's something that I respect a lot. I respect a lot uh, the fact that Keffels and Keffels' allies were willing to take a stand and make uh, and and take that gr that great risk, and it was it absolutely was um, a huge risk. I can respect that. Now, of course, Keffels' story highlights a lot of, of issues that are going on right now. The deranged and sickening way that trans people are treated. Um, keep in mind that Keffels is a streamer. Keffels just talked about politics on stream and this was the treatment that Keffels received. We've seen, of course, all kinds of types of harassment going out. I mean, we all just, just last week, I was talking about the uh, over a month long freak out that conservatives all the way up to international conservative news organizations have been having over Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan Mulvaney, a TikToker and Broadway star who produces completely un inoffensive content that they have been freaking out and sending threats to for weeks and months now. And to the degree that they try, that conservatives from their largest mouthpieces, the biggest platforms they have, were calling for uh, uh, um, boycotts on an entire brand of beer because that brand of beer sent one customized can to a trans Broadway star. The uh, level of derangement directed at trans people is off the, off the rails. And of course, that's not the only issue that's being highlighted here. The fact that police uh, do not have uh, any responsibility to wear body cams even when they're raiding someone's house. Uh, the, the fact that the police can hold you in jail for hours when you have not provably committed a crime. The fact that police are so woefully uh, untrained and uh, and also that they have such an institutional bias against trans people that they can get the name wrong of the innocent person that they're terrorizing based on completely anonymous bungled threats. I don't know if you guys ever saw the text of the threats. We showed them on stream the text of the threats that were sent. They were riddled with misspellings and grammatical errors. That doesn't mean that death threats can't have grammatical errors and spellings, but these threats that were sent, that were sent to, to falsely accuse Keffels were laughably bad. 
they were so, they should have risen red flags in any sort of rational person should have said, maybe we shouldn't do a raid right off the bat. Maybe we should just go do a, you know, just go check and see if there's anything going on. But of course, no, the police have very little accountability. They have very little preparation uh, and they are geared towards military engagements with criminals that in this case don't even exist. Allison Albright says, held for hours, they can hold you for years pre-trial. Yeah, here in the US, we actually just watched videos about Rikers Island where you can be held for incredible amounts of time. Um, yeah, the, the justice system is an injustice system. Uh, there are so many people who are rotting away in jail who have never even provably committed a crime. I'm not kidding you. It is a literal commonplace occurrence here in the U.S. and I assume in Canada, though I'm not as familiar with Canada's justice system as I am with the U.S.'s. Anyway, there's not much else for me to say at this point. Um, and I don't blame people for having a certain level of skepticism when they're engaging with online figures. But I want to urge people to be reasonable and also to be human to take a moment and think for just a minute what it might be like to have to go through the shit that Keffel's had to go through. And then when you do take time for yourself to get better, to deal with some of the trauma that you experienced as a result of that, to deal with some of the health issues that resulted from that, that you have a bunch of people, some of the same people who propagated the shit in the first place, making up deranged and evidenceless claims about you, much like, my claims about the fairy tale creatures um, and other people just thoughtlessly boosting that all over the place. I want you to think about how horrible that would be if that happened to you. Anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. If you enjoyed this segment and this update, first of all, go show some love to Keffels. You can go throw a like, a follow over to Keffels. Keffels is on every social media, on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever. Uh, um, of course, Show some love to Keffels. And obviously, press like, press subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts on this particular case or any emojis that you want to share with me. Anyway, thanks a ton for watching. That's been this particular update.